suitable Yotun. Perhaps if I listen to that chatter, some fount of wisdom will reveal itself. This must be end. Well, we at least go out with our bellies as full as our spirits. Death may have to carry us into the next round. Harvey! Come to humiliate us some more? Help me, and I'll compose your saga so exalted it will endure Ragnarok itself. But first, I need a name and a place. For what? For whom? The mightiest Jotun in all of Svartalfheim. We know the one. Right hand of Sutinger. Malviger. Here because of us. She is... worthwhile. Gave your son Vidar quite the beating once, didn't she? One day Vidar will make me proud. But why would Malviga care about you two? Premier and Lom aren't our real names. <laughs> Allow me to introduce... Fiala and Gala. The ones who killed... Sutinger's father. I heard something about him trying to outdrink a couple of dwarfs. And after, befuddled tripping and breaking his neck. <sighs> Sutinger wasn't happy. Held us responsible. But luckily we'd acquired some mead. Some special mead. And well, Sutinger is partial to a bit of mead. We bartered it in exchange for our lives. Except afterwards. Some thieving twat went and stole it. Loki, most likely. It's always Loki. Whoever it was, Sutunga didn't catch them. So he decided to take it out on us instead. Sent Malviga to hunt us down. Been incognito ever since. Can't trust this lot not to sell us out. Still, she hasn't found us yet. She will. Malviga's dangerous prey. Even for you. A 
but we can help balance the scales. Our old house, north of here. Sunk in a lake. Inside, upstairs on a table. You'll find a cup of great potency. Cup? You know, the cup. Oh yes, the cup. Has the power to do wonderful stuff. For instance... So, I bring you the cup, and then... We show you how to use it against Malvigor. It's a deal. Ah, the laughing does some good. No one wants Thank to you, Gillen. My pleasure. Survey the area soon. This wondrous cup of theirs should be on the table over there. Someone has already been here and stolen it. Assuming there was a cup in the first place. Might as well give up, you one-eyed fart! Huh? Your worm food! Fight smart. You should have... And I will not trouble you again. It's best to leave one of your enemies alive, so they can tell of your greatness. Everyone knows of my greatness. Perhaps there are one or two who have not yet heard? Just tell me where Malviger is. What... what's in it for me? I do not know, but I will tell you this. The longer you make me wait, the worse it will be. 
Molviger is at the dam to the west. And now? Will you spare me? Until next we meet. <laughs> there will be no next. You can be sure of that. came to blows. It did not find Malviger at the dam west of here. She is a worthy foe. Loki told me how she and Angerboda once came to blows. It did not go well for Angerboda. If the Salaka rejects Malviger, then it is a false tool. And Sutter pins his hopes on a worthless toy.
rugged views that remind me of when I once roved the land with Freak. The cool nights spent together beneath the stars. She enjoyed the solitude as much as I, and the trouble and danger even more. And then came the war with the Vanya, taking Freya as my bride. It helped end that strife, but it ended many other things too. What trickery is this? There is the dam. This tempest, it is unnatural. That by serving you up, I would show them mercy. Clearly a misapprehension on their part. Yet here I am, served up. If I were here for you, High One, I would have brought an army. No, Sutungar will have his vengeance, but not here. I know why you have come. I have a bone to pick with you. After what you did to my son, Vila, I must... Vidar put up an honorable fight. That is not what I heard. Do not believe the stories. Upon his return, too weak to stand, he squirmed like a worm caught in the sun. <laughs> you should have seen me. My acolytes had to carry me home on their backs. No. Your boy fought well. Is that why you spared his life? It is. But you aren't here to avenge Vidar's honor. You have come to steal my Hugar. And I intend to stop you. How do you know this? Esir, Jotun. You and Loki are both mad. And Hirokin is just as bad. And Thor is so stupid he might as well be mad. You spread chaos wherever you go. Yet, you are all known quantities to us. Surtur is not. He rarely emerges from Muspelheim, and when he does, he shares little with us. Thus, while here, I have sent my spies to learn what he plans, beyond wiping out the dwarves like he did the elves of Alvheim. What do you know of his plans? I know that he found a powerful elven relic, and that his minion, Calder, was tasked with finding the Hugaris necessary to sustain it. That Calder is now trapped within said relic, and that you would have me join him. I must trade the Salakar for my son. You. The one who almost killed Sutengar for his mead. We'll hand over a legendary relic, take your son and leave. Just like that. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Put your mania aside, Havi. Work with me. Together we will foil Surtur's ambitions. I cannot take the risk. With each breath, Baldur is a step closer to death. I was a parent once. But we must look beyond ourselves. For the good of all. We have spoken long enough. So... To the portal. Oh, tried something similar when he and I talked. I assume he learned of the
Not the right result. Do what you came here to do. Get on with it, blind one. End my misery. Oh, Ymir. True, O oh Father. My body comes to you. Sent by the same ambassador who claimed your own. As for my Hugar. Do not weep for me. I do not deserve this. No. You do not.
This is the old workshop that Evaldi spoke of. I should check if he's already here. The entrance must be on the other side. Found anything worthy of your talents? This will have to do. Soon you can put them to good use. By Emir, is that a, a Salakar? I never knew they actually existed. I know all the Sarkis of your people, yet I've never heard I of... never said my people. You mean the Light Elves? There aren't many who remember the Children of Light or their stories. I do. When Sutra invaded their lands, they begged me for eat. But the war with the Vani had only just ended and I was... wary. Long after, I learned how Sutra devoured the Elves' immortal light, Uga by Uga. Maybe it's the same light that now allows him to renew himself after death. During the conquest, he must have uncovered knowledge of the Salakars. But to what end? What Hugers does it hold? Those of two warlords. One a Muspel, the other a Jotun. Nothing more? Nothing more. At least not of value. He speaks the truth. You deal with a fire nymph? A fire nymph? I am the finest fire nymph in all of Spartalheim. Allow me to introduce Asa, treasonous daughter of Sutra, and my friend. You grow dewy eyed in your dotage. What have you unearthed? Only rumors. My father is rebuilding something large and powerful. Though its exact nature I cannot fathom. And the Salakar is intended to be part of this... this something. Most likely. Either way, its value to my father is so great he may indeed trade your son for its return. Return to your stepmother. Arrange a trade. And one more thing. I would feel better knowing you are protected. Sinmara travels far and wide, but I will rejoin her as you wish. Whatever the Salakar is, I must steal it back once Baldur is safe. Why? Ragnarok comes. I've made plans, but they are not ideal. Perhaps the Salakar offers another way. One that will allow me to truly save those I care about. Even you. Hmm. To unlock its secrets, I will need help. There are rumors of a shelter nearby. Its dwellers may be able to assist me. Try looking near the largest karst south of here. Tell them I sent you. No dwarf would give up the chance to work with Ivaldi. Vangren was once home to your rivals, Sindri and Broca. Your name may not carry much weight here. Don't make me laugh. No one cares about those two. I'll follow you once I've finished taking what I need.
signs leading to the shelter.
How did the dwarves get all the way up here? The shelter must be nearby. This is where they hide. This must be the shelter you only spoke of. I should head inside. That seems generous. Well, I doubled the prices yesterday to make a profit, but nobody bought anything. So, half the price today. You haven't been doing this very long, have you? It's my second day. Bye for now. Ah. Greetings, dwarf. I am Harvey of the Asia. Let's talk again soon. Harvey? Uh, I'm going to 